Eastwood and you grew up on film sets, you might imagine that acting would be a natural career choice. But that's not the case for my next guest. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? His dad is one of Hollywood's biggest icons and at first it looked as if Kyle Eastwood would follow in his footsteps. Aged just 14, he made his acting debut alongside his father in Honky Tonk Man. But it wasn't long before Kyle realised that his passion lay elsewhere with another of his father's great loves, jazz music. Fast forward 30 years and he's now an acclaimed composer who's contributed music on eight of his father's movies, including the Oscar-winning Million Dollar Baby. Now, having just released his seventh album, Time Pieces, Kyle is back, touring the UK with his band. And Kylie Sweet is with me now. It's so good to see you. It really is. And Thank you for having me on. You sort of really firmly established yourself in your, your own right as, as a musician. And we all get things from our parents, don't we? And I guess that was for... Your dad loves that kind of music too. I did, yeah. My, both my parents are very big jazz fans and, uh, and music appreciators in general. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I have them to thank for, uh, for turning me on to a lot of good music since I was young. So did you have that when you were growing up, that was playing in the house all the time? I, that was kind of the music of choice usually that they were listening to a lot, you know, around the house. So it was a lot of jazz records. I kind of think, I guess, when you're growing up in that situation, it's a double-edged sword, because obviously having Clint Eastwood as your dad opens doors, but then, you know, people might sit back with their arms folded and say, oh, go on then, you know, you have to... It must have been quite difficult, and I know that you did do a little bit of acting when you were younger, more than a little bit of acting. I did, yeah, I did some, and then, um, I mean, I've always loved film. I grew up around cinema, you sure. know, and watching him work, so... Uh, I, I kind of had a short stint at, at university as a film major, but I was really more interested in, in maybe trying to be a director. But ah, um, nice. I think I probably would have gone towards that that side of the f filmmaking. But yeah. um, but now music kind of took over when I was when I was about seventeen, eighteen, and, and uh, mm. so I've been doing that ever since. And I think when you're that age and when you really want to do music. It does pull you. There's actually not really much you can do about it. You've got to go with it, haven't you? If it you're is. Lucky I mean, I've loved to music that. ever since I can remember, really. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, so yeah. It was it was a pretty strong passion for me. And you're touring the UK. You're going to be all we over. We are. We're all place. over. We've been all over this week. We've been playing all over the UK, and then I'm back uh, next month in May for four nights at Ronnie Scott's, starting. On, uh, That's a brilliant venue. Yeah, isn't it's it? one of my favorite. It clubs really to play, is. Actually. It's, it's got great. such a brilliant atmosphere. You can almost sense all the people that have played there are it still there. It is. Yeah, I've there. actually I've had the pleasure of, of seeing Horace Silver there in the in the 80s when I was here with my father once. Oh, uh, wow. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great room. No, it's great brilliant. Room. And the new album's out as well. It's uh, Time Pieces. And for this, how would you describe this album? I mean, is it is it people who love your music, they're going to love this? Is there anything new about it? Is there any other... There's a lot of original people? compositions, yeah, yeah, but there um, there's a few sort of classic comp compositions by some of my favourite composers. And uh, it definitely has an influence, I would say, of, of mm. some of the you know, sort of 50s and 60s Blue Note era jazz albums, which are, which are some of my favourites. So... Uh, there's a little influence of that and sure. a, little, a, little, a few different influences. It's in the kind of music that it doesn't matter what age you are. I mean, really young kids love this. And, I and think, older yeah, people there's, there's a lot. I mean, there's, there's something for everyone, I think. Mm, there's, no, hopefully. very, I very hope. much so. <laughs> and you live in Paris. I do, actually. That must inspire I have you, that beautiful city. It is. I mean, there's a lot of great music there, a lot of great musicians, mm. um, a lot of great music kind of from all over the world, really. And, and, um, and especially in France, they, they, they appreciate jazz and, and a lot of different types of music, you know, a lot of, from a lot of different cultures. So It's, it's so it's cool. Good, Don't you think jazz is cool? Well, yeah, you're, no, is, <laughs> you're asking, though. you're asking me. So, yeah, yeah. But it really is, especially when you see, it, so you see it in movies or you see it in TV shows or you know, or you go listen to it live. There's just something so cool about it. And you, you do compose for for films as well, don't you? you I do. Yeah, that, I've done yeah? some. I've worked on some of my father's films sure. and um, done a few documentaries and things over the years and um, some music for my sister's films. And, yeah, Gosh, you're a really talented family. Everybody seems to be so creative, <laughs> but I guess that's understandable. I mean, you grew up around things like that, of course. I did. Well, I mean, I grew up watching my father work a lot, so mm. you know, watching him uh, make films, and then, uh, and then, you know, watching the watching the films be scored and, and, and yeah. 
so it's, yeah, a lot of a lot of exposure to that and to music especially. Yeah. So there's no regrets that you didn't do the Karate Kid because I know you got offered that and you said no, it's okay. You don't, <laughs> do, no, you don't think because you know because you could have gone in that direction quite easily. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm. It's nice that I'm still involved with film, yeah. you know, through music, the music side, mm. which is which is fine for me. You mm. know, so, but um, no, I don't have any regrets. You know, I love music is really my is my passion. Sure. So. But you, you talked about maybe directing in the future. I mean, that's something you know, your your dad started doing that quite late in life. So. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll never say never, but I, no. it's not something that I've been you know pursuing or, sure. or thinking too much about. I think you know I'm pretty busy with with the music side. So. For sure. We wish you all the best with the tour, Kyle. It's lovely to Great, see thank you. Thank you very much. Give your gorgeous dad our love.